It's in here, boys! A rescue! She's out of control! <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. This is Built by Blake. I am Blake. Dean is not here, but he's here, around here somewhere. We're working on the GTR again today. This is episode whatever, whatever. I have no idea because the days have been just joining back to back for us. So. Um, as you can see, we usually try to keep the shed nice and neat and tidy and look at it. It is just like shit, like look at this. It's just a donut sitting on the bench. Why? But it's here, why is there random piping sitting on the bench? And then now it's getting to the point where Obviously, you guys would have seen the WRX is gone. It's uh, it's having a little getaway at the moment, which you guys will have to catch up on later. The stuff is just pulling over to the absolute shit fight that is. Oh, is that an extension? One day. What's that for? One day. Oh, is that the spell connection? Oh. One day. That's what service. Is. That's what I'm. Ex that's what's expected. None of this. <laughs> oh, I don't know where it is. Oh, I don't know if it's coming. Oh. This, this is my, this is me personally, this is my life. I'm listening to this just fucking whinge about people who are shit at their jobs. I hate people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so today we're gonna make the dump and uh, mount all of the exhaust. The exhaust has been hanging on the wall here for ages. Uh, so Dean's made all of this up forever and a day ago. Uh, he's just given it a coat of black paint. That's the actual back of the exhaust. That's the existing one. Um, and then obviously the turbo, it came with its own thing so that you have to either use theirs or buy theirs or do whatever else. So the idea is we come out of it with this thing, which is a three and a half to four inch reducer. And then you get this absolute colossal thing. It'll sit off the back there like that. Off the dump. Goes into here. Oh yeah, okay. Splits into a twin three inch through the cats <laughs> and into... <laughs> look, at the, look where the cats were. The cats are. They're cats. They're slim one cats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anorexic yeah. cats. Comes in through here, goes into two more small mufflers, then goes back to four inch, because that's where the diff, basically where the diff is, and you wouldn't be able to get twin three through it. Yeah. Back to four inch and then dip into the big eight inch muffler, which is straight through four inch. And it's actually, where it had 700 horsepower, it was quiet. Quiet. It's quiet. It was quiet. Uh, so anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to sort out the exhaust now uh, and then hopefully also in this episode, depending on parts arriving in real time, uh, mount all of the intercooler piping. You guys would have seen on the last episode that we've got the front bar on and it's the most sexual thing I've ever seen in my life because it looks like a car again. Um, for as long as I've known Dean, this car has been a skeleton on this hoist and you guys would have seen it in all the episodes just sitting back here looking sad for itself. Now it, it's like I'm here. So let's get into it, start fabbing it up and start mocking some stuff up. Take the big hit there. Yeah. Surely that's multiple. Just over time. So, first problem. What is this bar called? Flycast Elite. Skyline boys will know. Us Subaru boys will not know. Dean's previous exhaust that he made didn't have this before. Now he has. I mean, this hits him. It's bolt on. That's so a small tape measure that I've had jammed in the diff for years. <laughs> it's been, it's been. That's the diff gears. Probably going to be some chopping in this. 
there'll be some fiddling around to make this work. Everything else looks easy enough though. The rest of it should just piece up and then the dump pipe should just get oh, thrown down. One, one week later. In three hours, it'll be bolted on. Nope. In three hours, I'll cut the f***ing off the grinder. In three hours, I'll cut the f***ing off the grinder. Grinder. When Dean originally made this exhaust, he made it uh, like a lobster back exhaust, uh, just to flex a little bit on his welding skills. Uh, and it looks pretty good. It actually looks really good. Uh, except he didn't have, before this, he didn't have uh, this GK, the thing I'm banging the light on at the moment, this thing here, this GK uh, high cast elite bar. The high cast elite bar runs here and it's hitting there and that exhaust is meant to sit up in where that bar sits, up in there, uh, and that actually like cocks the exhaust in the right direction and then the V-band was cut off there nicely and that would actually sit the muffler smack bang where it needs to sit. Right now it's sitting where it needs to sit because Dean's got it mocked up exactly where it needs to be. Um, because obviously we are <laughs> he's gonna have to remake this, recut that, and then um, put a V-band on there, on here, probably about here somewhere, It'll probably sit about there, and then do a little 90 degree lobster back just to match the rest of the exhaust. We're hoping that this front part here, uh, the front part of this exhaust, hasn't, doesn't have to be remade. Uh, and then the rest can be just done, so. We'll jump into that now. It's a little bit of dicking around, but it has to be done. It wasn't like it before and it is like it now. So it'll be interesting to see. I've never seen him do that lobster back look. So uh, obviously there's guys out there that can make it look ridiculously good. But I mean, for anyone to do it is impressive. So to be able to weld is impressive. <laughs> Someone I think you know what you're doing. That actually looks really cool. Yeah? Looks good. So this is obviously a piece by piece exercise. Yeah. Like, and then here, that angle matching this angle, but in, then that angle matching that mm. angle, but up, then there, then there. Like, it doesn't look like much, but it's an emission guy. Mm. Like, people don't should, pay for it. Should have measured it. You measured it. <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> Good job. Just this part here, it hits that bar. There. Yep. Find GK text for that, bolt on junk. <laughs> <laughs> Probably is bolt on if you have a fucking normal size exhaust, not a yeah. water pipe. Like a little not pip, a water main. Little <laughs> pipsqueak, three inch. Three and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, mate. It's already blowing flames. It's already blowing flames, man. Yeah, it's it's just started it. V Energy, if you want to sponsor us. Either V or, or Carlton. Or Carlton. Oh! Dude, that's good. I didn't realise that's what you've been doing. This has been Dean's life for the last hour. I've been wiring. It's like, no shit. Look at it. Dude. Real stancy boy now, aren't ya? Right. Just don't have any bends. <laughs> I just don't have any bends. <laughs> oh, that is going to look hectic! So that, that there is what we're kind of looking at at the moment, but that's the whole... That's the whole problem that 
the reason this started was because this high cast delete bar uh, offsets all of the muffler. So, so obviously you get the idea of lobster tailing now. Um, you just cut straight pieces, offset over and over and over, and then tack them together until you get the bend that you need to get. And then you spend the next five hours of your life welding out every single one of them. But that is going to be, oh, hot damn. That's going to be sheepy, sheepy race spec. If you don't know what sheepy race is, just look up sheepy race. They are the wizards at this. They are the kings at this. They're not the wizards. <laughs> no, they're not the wizards. They're 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 the Can talk us through what that is, mate? <laughs> and everything on this house runs around 85. What's that John Deere got? Has it got a flex fuel, Haltech sensor? Yeah, that runs on 85. Yeah. Not a flex fuel sensor, full time E85. Full time E85. Bought out the injectors and that's the nigger. Secondary fuel rail, <laughs> controlled by the Haltech. <laughs> turns on. <laughs> turns on when it needs to. <laughs> That's gonna blow up, mate. <laughs> what the craziest <laughs> I've ever met. Who likes a fly out like that? Turbo. Now look what you two have done. You <laughs> know? It's in here, boys! A rescue! She's out of control! Holy f is this actually for you? <laughs> He's actually waving at us! Out of control! She's out of control! Glad you enjoyed that little intermission. Um, but <laughs> that, intermi that intermission happened because Dean and I were having... Well, remember when we said the back of the exhaust now is looking very nice and it's lobster tailed and it's all nice and good and then the front of the exhaust we won't have to modify because it's just going to bolt up exactly where it needed to be. Well, it didn't at all, actually. It fell massively short. Now he's having to remake all of it. Not all of it, but just this part here. So the V-bands have been cut off. They will need to be remade out of the cats to the new exhaust and then it will go down. So. Get out this space up. Just a little speed flow spanner. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the most, that's the most expensive spacer of all time. That's perfect, but. Holy shit. It's only a $300 spacer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was never gonna clear, like all in here, it was never gonna clear because yeah. we moved that so much there. There was always going to be some sort of changes. Mm. If it would have fit, it would have been out of this world. When, like, if it was a four inch, just all four inch, it probably would have fit because you've got that movement. Super, super tight clearances to try and get your grandparents right. You got like 10 mil play. But I believe if you ask, uh, who's got the world record GTR at the moment? But I think if you ask them, they all run that Dash 8 speed flow, speed flow spanner just as a, as a spacer, so. You just, just ask them for the uh, speed flow spanner mod and they can do that for you. So We can do it too. If you want to bring your car here, we yeah, can do that. <laughs> we can do that for you. <laughs> the following day. So skip forward a day. Yesterday was a good day. We made the whole exhaust and everything was good and happy. And then I came in today, the next day. And it looks like this.
You want to explain to him what we're doing now, mate? Why isn't there an exhaust where you spent eight hours making an exhaust? I'm just going to make another one. It was pretty, pretty, not average, but just not good. Not as good as this car deserves. Yeah, I like a lot of the suspension parts and stuff that weren't on the car previously. And that exhaust was actually built for a twin turbo setup. So, uh, that makes sense. It just didn't, and like things with the OS88, this big sampling in our, the different gearbox now, the different suspension parts at the back, like there's just multiple things that made it not quite work. And it could have worked, but it's not good enough. Can agree, <laughs> I can agree with that. Uh, at around hour four, beer number 12, all Dean kept saying was, I could have made an entire exhaust by now, the whole thing. And so obviously, this car being this car, uh, that's what's gonna happen. So now, no more dual setup. Uh, it's gonna be four inch straight down the back, four inch the whole way through, and it's gonna work the way that it should work. Making a parts list of what piping we will need. Um, hopefully the lobster tail exhaust at the back will uh, um, still get reused, uh, but if it doesn't, then we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But for now, I'm not gonna drag you guys through making an exhaust because you saw us do it yesterday. It's gonna be the exact same. I'll throw in maybe 30 seconds of clips of us doing it um, and then we'll walk around the car when the whole thing's done. Alright, this is the piece I'm going to get ceramic coated. Yeah. And then from there on, I'll just be saying that. Because yeah. that's like under the car. So it will be under the car. That, that point there is like past, yeah. past the gearbox. That's how we're gonna weld it. It's glowing. Yeah. So next time it glows, it doesn't even touch. It just fucking evaporates. Next time it glows, we just shove that in there, bang. I've been here for fifteen minutes. Fuck you, Turbo Smart, you shit clamp. Buy Christ help you if you can't make a product that is absolutely fucking flawless. Because if it's not, <laughs> we'll let you know. <laughs> I've got to make flawless shit. Why don't I get away with? supplying everyone with rubbish. This is update on dump. Nice. Nice. You know what is actually nice? Look at that. Look at that. Would you look at that? Dude or whatever they were. See that? Like, yeah. And what you gotta do is make sure you've got your tools ready. Where is this clamp? Look. Hey. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that is a big pot. Look at that. I can put my head up there. Adding to building the exhaust. Um, so, a bit of a backstory. Long story short, Dean couldn't find a cat that could, well, he couldn't find a cat that someone could tell him could flow basically the power that we're going to be running. He spoke to the guys at AES, which is the guys that build all this, and he said, make me a cat that looks like a cat that's a cat. So the inside of Dean's cat looks like that. <laughs> and then on the outside, it looks like that. <laughs> and, and, and I said, wouldn't it be funny if we got a stainless steel plate made up and got the cat logo, like as in the heavy vehicle logo for cat machines, <laughs> CNC cut and welded it on there. So <laughs> here we are. This little cat logo is gonna go on there. Yeah. <laughs> cat. This is a cat. <laughs> uh, so in typical us fashion, uh, I got to the end of editing this video and there was no outro at all. So, here we are. This is the finished product at the moment. Um, obviously you'll see a bit of exhaust wrap on there um, because it's obviously at a later date and more stuff has happened in between now and then. But, comes out of the back of the turbo, four inch the whole way down, four inch through our cat, which is our magic little cat, which is probably still my favorite part of the car. 
Uh, and then continues on four inch uh, at the moment. It stops there and then goes to the uh, nice little muffler that Dean fabbed up uh, because the rest of it is sitting over there currently getting painted because um, we actually, Dean just actually just put a, uh, like a controllable flappy paddle thing in the, uh, in the exhaust. And uh, we'll do an episode on that later on, talking about how it basically changes the sound of the car and if it's worth it and all the rest of it. But um, for now, that is it for this episode. Uh, this is still obviously getting pretty wild now, but uh, if you guys want to do the things that make it good for us, give it a like, subscribe, drop a comment, let Dean know how he's doing um, because he's always there watching you guys. So we will see you on the next one. Boy. Ever since you shut the door on everything we knew, you're too late for love.